Well, hello friends, it's Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to make this super cute little treat holder. Of course, I had to put a little chocolate inside there, wrapped it up in one of our cello bags, tied it with a pretty little bow. But don't you just love these little purses? They're so cute with the handles. I've seen them made um, as maybe more like a backpack. You can kind of get the idea um, when I push that in. If you pop it out, it looks more like a big bag or a satchel or something. So let me show you. This, um, the die is actually from the, so this is our spring mini catalog, Stampin' Up! Spring mini catalog. And the dies and stamp set are part of, this is the Dressed to Impress bundle. So you have the Dressed to Impress stamp set, lots of fun imagery and um, sayings on that stamp set. And then these are the all dressed up dies. And the fun thing is anything that you can see that's kind of whited out here means there's a die over here that will cut those things out for you. Plus they've got some, um, like this one is like for a little, this is a tag for a sentiment, it fits perfectly around that Happy Mother's Day as well. So I'll kind of pop in here so you can see these great sentiments, lots of fun, um, girly imagery and that all dressed up, or um, dressed to impress, excuse me, dressed to impress dance step. And then the all dressed up dies right there too. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this cute little purse. I actually already die cut one because I figured you guys didn't want to watch me die cut too many things. But you need, actually let me grab this too. So I needed two pieces. This is the Dressed to Impress designer series paper. You can see the cute little shoes imagery on the back there. So I need two pieces. This is six by six designer series paper. So you need two pieces of this. I actually already cut one of the straps. So I've got another. This one came right out of here. So I I have a strip. This is a uh, lovely lipstick cardstock. I need another little piece of lovely lipstick cardstock to make um, my little pocket. And then my button, I use some gold foil paper. So let me get started. Um, let's do our die cutting first and then I'll show you how to put everything together. Okay, so we're going to scoot that out of the way, grab my die cutting machine. So first of all, we are going to cut our strap. So we need, you get one of these dies. Excuse me, I'm not sure where my, oh, I should probably move this too. There, now I'm in better view, right? Okay, so we've got our lovely lipstick cardstock. And I will tell you, I will include all of the item codes, the names of everything that we're using, um, all the products in the details to the YouTube video. So kind of look below uh, details to the YouTube video and you will see everything that you need to know as far as item codes and products that we are using. So these dies are stuck on here really, really well. We're gonna use this little baby button right here. You can see there are some larger buttons and then some smaller buttons. And then that was that um, tag. So this is a great tag that you can use um, on any sentiment really, right? These are buckles for your purse. This is for the perfume bottle, some flowers. And then actually over here, cause it's like two sheets, you've got your lipstick and then your shoe die as well. Okay, so let's run these little babies through first. I probably should have given myself a wider piece of lovely lipstick cardstock. So you guys, this happens to you probably, right? Where things kind of wiggle around on there, but I think we are good. You know, you cannot fight the magnetic field, right? If your die is kind of winging away on your cardstock, you have to move your cardstock. You can fight all day, <laughs> but you will not win. So just move your cardstock so that it until it doesn't wing away. So there is one of the strips, and can you see? It cuts the stitching on there too, which I think is so cute. So let's get this stuff out of the way. And then our little, let's see, am I gonna be able to get this out? I forgot my, um, hmm, my paper piercing tool. I know, let's see, can I use? I was gonna say I have my snips, but I don't even have those. We'll see if we can use this little baby. I should be able to pop this out, hopefully. It would be a lot easier if I had brought um, this these really actually popped right out that's why it's kind of funny that this is being so futzy for me all right we'll get that in a sec let's get this stuff out of the way oh I should have die cut the little pocket too okay let's do that we'll die cut our pocket maybe we'll run this through again sometimes if you um, run it back and forth a couple of times that helps um, kind of it helps it pop out a little bit easier we're gonna go back and forth there okay so there's that. So we've got our little pocket. And again, it makes the stitching on there. Can you guys see that? Super duper cute. Let's see if we've helped ourselves out at all here. 
Yes, there we go. <laughs> so if all else fails, run it through again, flick it around, and there's your cute little button on there too. Okay, scooting those out of the way. So the only other one that we need to die cut is another half of our purse. So you can see this fit right on there. So we're gonna do that again. Here's my six by six piece of the Dress to Impress Designer Series paper. Just lay that down. This one, it doesn't really matter, those flowers. I don't know if there's a proper like, you know, orientation top or bottom of the paper. So just pop it on there and run it through. And then because this is Designer Series paper, it is a little bit thinner. That's funny, that's really like kind of embedded in there. Um, just be a little bit gentle when you pop this die out of here. Um, our cardstock is a little bit thicker, so it'll be a little bit sturdier. I did not have a problem with this, but I will tell you, so even when you fold these things, just kind of fold them gently. If you, you know, fold really, really hard on those um, score marks, you could kind of crease through your paper. So just kind of nice and easy there, okay? All right, we're gonna scoot this out of the way. So let me show you how to assemble the actual purse. So I've kind of got things folded a little bit along my score marks here. So I am gonna use some tear and tape, and this takes just a sec. So kind of bear with me as we get our tear and tape on here. You are, I use my little um, silicone mat here too because I think it's a really nice surface to work on. This will allow, um, well, it doesn't allow the adhesive on my tear and tape to stick. Like if I were doing it right on here, it would stick all over the place. So we're gonna use tear and tape along the little tabs and then actually along one of these. So we don't have to do it on both of them. The one thing I'm gonna tell you is you wanna go back and press really firmly along all of these right here. And then on this one, we do not need to do it on this big flap. We're only gonna do it on our little tiny flaps there. And I'll show you why in just a sec, okay? So we're gonna run that one there. And then another little piece right along there. Okay, so again, we're gonna press really firmly. This just makes it easier to peel the um, white backing off of your tear and tape. Okay, so there's one. And you just wanna be a little bit careful. This is super sticky adhesive, so don't let it stick to anything until you're ready to really put things together, okay? So first step is that little baby flap right there. You just wanna fold that in. And when you have it where you want, then just press firmly. I'm gonna kinda of lay that aside because I want to come over here and do the same thing on these little babies here too. So we're gonna pull this one off and just kind of lay that right inside there, okay? Then we can peel our other adhesive off. And you can see that kind of went over the edge. So I just kind of roll that back. Maybe I went a little bit too far. So then it doesn't have any extra sticky on it. And we'll double check that other one and see if I had done that one too. Okay, so there we go with that. So let's actually do a little double check. Here we go. I'm like, where's the flap? Yep, that one kind of, this tear and tape is a little bit wider than that strip is. So just kind of fold that back a little bit so that the adhesive isn't along the back there, okay? Now, the next step is this piece that has our adhesive on it. That is just going to lay right inside this piece. So I think it's easiest if you, again, work on your silicone mat and just kind of lay that down inside there. And then we're gonna press firmly inside there. And then last step is our sides. So right along here, and we're just gonna kind of lay that right up along there, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing over on the other side. So that just folds in and it's sticky, so it's kind of being a little bit futzy for me. And then that one is gonna go right along there. And then what I like to do is lay it down and kind of gently but firmly press on those seams to make our purse go together. So there is kind of step one, and you can make that real wide, or you can even kind of pinch it in 
then it looks a little more like a backpack, right? But I kind of liked it open just a little bit there, right? Okay. Now, and actually, I probably should have told you you should have put this on earlier, and I didn't, but that's okay. So we're going to add just a little bit of adhesive to that cute little button there, right? So our little gold button is going to go on our pocket. We're just going to, oops, that's not straight. We probably, you know, that'd probably be if, like, if I made a purse, my button wouldn't be on straight either. Okay, so now we're going to add a good amount of adhesive onto this piece because it's gonna kind of flex on here a little bit. And we're gonna pop that right on there. And again, press firmly there. So you really didn't have to put it on before you put it together. I think as long as you get it where you want and then flip it over and press firmly, you are all set there. Now, next step is, I'm gonna actually use tear and tape. I was trying to decide, do I wanna, because I think you need a, something a little bit sturdier um, I am going to confess that I'm still using, I still have a terror, or a, um, fast views. So when I made these for everyone, I don't know if I mentioned that already or not. These were little treats that I made for everyone that was supposed to come to my one day retreat. We had to turn it into a retreat to go. So these are some of the cute little treats that I made for everybody. Um, that was they were supposed to come to our one-day retreat. Um, but that's okay. That's how things are rolling right now. We are um, just adapting with the times because of COVID-19, right? Okay, so we're going to just peel that off. The other thing that you want to do is just kind of, if you had a, a pen or a pencil or something, um, maybe even your bone folder, you just want to kind of curl that strip a little bit. It just kind of helps... Um, keep this adhered on your purse, the little purse strap. Because if you were just to like bend it right now, um, I, you kind of just want to give the paper a little memory almost that you're gonna make that little loop. So kind of just curl it before you put it on there. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, just peel these little babies off. I will tell you guys, if you are enjoying my video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of the video right here. I love to have new subscribers. Also, if you have any comments or questions, make sure you do that comment. Let me know what you think. Have any questions? I love to hear from you. And let's see, we're gonna pop that one right on there. And then again, cause I've kind of curled it, it's a little memory there for the paper, right? Okay, last couple of steps. We will move that baby out of the way. We don't need that any longer. We are going to, because I love the little tassels, right? So these are, um, what are these called? I ripped the back off, so I can't even, I'm gonna consult. Oh, best dress tassels. I was consulting my catalog. So they come in a petal pink, um, whisper white, and pretty peacock. And you get six of each of them in here. So I'm going to kind of flip that. I'm just going to pop one of these little petal pink sticking together. There, we're going to use that. And then I have some uh, whisper white baker's twine that we're going to just tie that little tassel right on there. Last little step, just to add a little bit of fun. So we just loop that through there, and then we're just gonna tie it in a bow right on here. The other thing I will tell you guys, if you don't already know this, I do Facebook Live videos every, well, most every single Friday on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, and then I upload them right here to YouTube. So watch for those. I do um, fun drawings every single week on Facebook Live. If you order through me, you actually get your name in a drawing for a fun prize, usually a stamp set, something kind of big and exciting. You also get the projects that I demonstrate on my Facebook Live. Um, and then if you bump your order up to over $50, you actually get a free embellishment or a 16 project PDF tutorial. So lots of good stuff happening. Check that out as well. So final step for this cute little treat bag, right? These are our uh, three by six gusseted cello bags. Just put some chocolate in there and then tied one of the Daffodil Delight, a ruched ribbon bow. And then that just slips right inside of there. So isn't that so cute? I am so excited for everyone to get their retreats in a box if they're being shipped, or I'm calling it retreat in a bag, the ones that I had to convert from our live one day retreat that are now um, doing porch pickup basically to get their retreats. So I hope those people that attended the, well, 
or that got the retreat in a box or a bag enjoyed these uh, gifts that I gave them and I hope you enjoy these as well. I'd love for you to make one of these fun little bags. You can see the um, different colors of the designer series paper there too. Beautiful patterns. I absolutely love that designer series paper. So very pretty, pretty, pretty. It's my favorite paper right now in the spring mini catalog. So I so appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed these treats. I hope you were inspired today. And like I said, make sure you comment. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'd love for you to subscribe and we will see you guys soon. Bye everybody.